Okay, MMA, this is your fourth video in your WeVideo tutorials. This uh, tutorial is all about how to add special effects to your footage. So things like slow motion, um, color correction, animating your clips, that sort of thing. So what I've done is I've just added a couple clips on my timeline that I want to um, show you how to go about um, changing these different effects. Um, so for instance, Say like you want to change your color correction. The way that you get to any of your special effects is you double click on a clip. So I'm going to double click on this clip right here and you're going to come to this uh, window with a lot of different options. So the first thing you can do is you can transform the clip. So you can flip it, you can rotate the clip, you can change the scale. So if you want to increase the size, um, get real zoomed in on something, you can do that. Also, like if you zoom out, um, you can do what's called picture in picture and you can layer footage so that you can have multiple pictures on one screen. Um, and again, for anything that you change and you wanna undo, you just click this little reset button and it'll bring it back to its original size. Um, and then here are all your other options. You can crop your photo, um, so if you want to, Again, do a picture in picture side by side with something else. You just slide in that horizontal um, crop or you can crop it vertically um, depending on what, what you're trying to achieve. Um, that's cropping. There's also effects for your sound, this little like speaker button. You can actually mute a clip. So say like you wanna add voiceover and you don't wanna to listen to the audio from the clip, you can just click on that mute button and then we'll hear your, your voiceover or the soundtrack that you're playing instead of the actual clip. Um, but I will get more into audio in the audio tutorial. The other thing you can do is you can animate your clip. Um, you can have it start in one position and end in another and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, what I'm going to show you for this clip right now is the color correction. So remember for your films, you want to think about um, the, the meaning of color and how if you tint your footage uh, different colors, that's going to portray a different genre, right? So real like blue tints are kind of more for sci-fi, red tints more for horror, or like yellow for happy, um, joyful kind of comedies, that sort of thing. So you've got all these different options. You can do brightness, contrast, saturation, hue, temperature tint. Um, the one you're probably going to focus on is saturation, which is, as you know, that's how rich or bright your color is. So you can make your colors really bright and pop. Or if you're doing like a film noir or a crime or mystery novel type film, you can desaturate your clips entirely and make it black and white. So that's how you change uh, to black and white. And then the other uh, slider button you're going to use is this hue button, which is where, where it will change as you slide. It changes the color. So it can go from purples to reds to, to yellows, right? Depending on what type of film you're making, cools, like for sci-fi, that sort of thing, or greens. Um, so you might want to tint all your footage a certain the color. I'm going to just, for the sake of this, I think I'm making a horror film, so I'm going to tint this uh, kind of red right now okay and then you just click save for save changes so now that clip instead of being blue like the original it's going to be red when you see that clip next thing i'm going to show you is how to do like a slow or a fast motion so this is a clip of just the characters just running down a hill and i'm going to make this slow motion <laughs> okay so i'm going to add some drama to it i double click I'm gonna click on this button that looks like a timer. And this, this is where you can go slow motion or fast. So if you wanna speed up your clips, you're gonna slide this value button faster. Um, and if you wanna slow down your clips, you're gonna slide it slower. So depending on how fast you wanna go uh, is how, uh, or how slow is how much you wanna slide that button. I'm just gonna slow it down maybe two times or three times. Okay, and you can see down here, the original length is like, a second and 10 frames. The new length is nine seconds and 16 frames. So you've added eight seconds to this clip by slowing it down. So your clip's gonna look a lot longer on your timeline. So I'm gonna click save changes and there it is. See how much longer it is? So I'm gonna um, press play and you'll notice how now it's more dramatic. And it, obviously these are special effects so it's gonna take a little while um when it to process so that's why when you're playing back any special effects uh just give it a minute and it will it will process your effect and then it will play for you okay 
so it looks very dramatic, them flying through the air. You're probably gonna wanna go back in there and turn the mute button on so that we don't hear that sound because the, the sound, the audio is also gonna slow down as well. Um, okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you, if you double click on a clip and you want to um, animate it, meaning you wanna do like a slow zoom, kind of like a camera, you want a fake camera move, say like, I wanna increase the drama on this clip and then go in, I wanna go from a close up to an extreme close up of just his eyes. I'm gonna click on this button right here. It looks like an animation, like stacked cards. And what this says is at this start of this clip, I want it to look like uh, like that, right? I just wanna have a close up of this, of this guy. Then I wanna say, if it starts there, this is where, click on the end. This is where I want it to end. And where I want it to end is on this extreme close up. So I'm gonna zoom in. But notice how his eyes are off the frame. I can come over here and replace it uh, and situate the clip where I want it to be. So I want it to start here and I want it to end here. And you can play, preview your, your animation right there. If you like it, you just click save. And now you're, you've just created a slow zoom effect. There we're trying. Okay. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you is how to create like a picture in picture where there's two clips in one. So the way I've done that is I've actually stacked two clips on top of each other. I pulled one into video track one, one into video track two. And what I'm going to do is double click on one of those clips, come over to your crop button. And instead of using the sliders, I like to just actually use the slider on the screen and I'm going to crop this shot right here um and i'm gonna kind of move it over maybe you can move it over i'm gonna save the changes on that and now what happens is you can see what's underneath because the top video has been cropped you can see uh what's below so i'm gonna double click on the the bottom shot and um i think for this one i'm gonna decrease the scale and move it over so that we can now see both the shots on top of one another. So it's more like a picture in picture. So, so now we get his face while we see them oh, kind of flying through the air. There we're trying. Okay, so those are three different effects you can use. Picture in picture with cropping, animating and slow zoom ins, changing the scale of your image, um, changing the speed of your image, and then finally changing the color correction on your image. Um, uh, so have fun playing around with the different animations.